god, why is that lighting? Um, hello everyone, my name is Klein Dems. Welcome to another video. I have a fortune cookie. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, sorry for the bad lighting. Um, it's still kind of dark out, because it's that early in the morning that I'm recording this, so. You know, so, pulling up my curtain won't do anything, because it's still kind of dark out. Um, remember the whole crisis with the bendy jacket? How I went on the big spiel about how I couldn't find the bendy jacket? I found it. Where is the logo? Oh, <laughs> it's inside out. <laughs> Hold on. That's how to prove how tired I am. My bendy jacket's inside out. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Hold on. Okay, so I believe if you're looking at it the right way, you should be able to see a bendy on the back. Yeah, and then I... <laughs> The bendy logo is here. So yeah, we found the bendy jacket. But that's not what this video is about. I'm not going to make three whole videos about the bendy jacket like Jacksepticeye did with his um flamingo shorts. Um, Today is on another, um uh, what's it called, Um, Overwatch pop figure. I've gotten some of the new ones. I've gotten Bastion, the Wraith, not, oh crap, I gave, I mean the Thailand thumbnail gives it away. But I normally try to keep that a surprise, but I just gave it away. Um... I got the Wraith version of Reaper, and I got the, um, uh, Nano, uh, version, uh, the Nano, so, uh, is it Nano, Nano? I don't know how you say it, whatever, it's a, um, it's a specific version of D.Va, but, um, today, as I just gave away accidentally, um, we have Bastion, which is a six-inch figure. Now, let's face it, everybody hates Bastion. Not the character of Bastion itself. <laughs> I was doing that to see what, I don't know, I mean, I can't see your reactions, but, you know, just awkward silence is funny. Um, not that, I'm not saying everyone hates Bastion, this isn't like everyone hates his character, everyone hates people who, like, main Bastion just because they like to be a douche with him. Let's face it, every, everyone does that with Bastion. With Bastion, you just camp up in a corner, and then you just do the machine gun and kill everyone. Everyone hates that person, except everyone is that person when they play Overwatch. So, um, yeah, same thing with May. May and Bastion like to do the same thing. They'll just camp in one area and they'll stay there because May and Bastion are the only two characters in Overwatch who whose guns don't have arcs. They can just shoot on forever through the map. So you can basically camp anywhere and just kill anyone from any spot in the map. It's hilarious. Um, but Bastion can't can't, can't trap your team in the spawn room. So you know he's a little bit better. Um, so here we have Bastion. Um, I'm not gonna explain the story of Bastion. Basically, he was an evil robot that turned good. Best way to describe him. So, the other ones they have for this series, at least, are, um, Wrecking Ball, or, Re yeah, Wrecking Ball, and it has a little Hammond on the top of it, who's a 6-inch. Bastion, who's a 6-inch. They also have Moria, um, Diva, where she's got her finger gun pointed at you. Um, Reaper, Wraith, which is the one I have, where he's, like, walking, he's got his two guns, his cloak's falling behind him. And then they made Farah, which I don't know is new or not. I it may, it might be a different pose of Farah. I don't know if they made Farah before, but if they did make Farah before, this one's got her kind of beak thing on, and she's flying up into the sky. And then they made Brigida. I, I, everyone's gonna, I don't want, so that, and nobody yells at me and says that it's, um, Bridget. Um, her name is actually Brigida. It, it looks like Bridget, but it's Brigida. Okay, let's open this, friend. Our Bastion friend. All the Overwatch ones usually are pretty detailed, especially the six inches. I'm always impressed with them. I mean, I'm always normally impressed with Funko anyway, but you know. All right, so here is Bastion, and that is very impressive electricness. Endoskeleton. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the back. How the pieces of like the like apparent protective pieces on his front like fold into his back. I can't see it very well because they're in very good lighting, but that's really impressive. Okay, his head turns if you want him looking directly at you. I personally like him looking at the bird. I think that's the best pose for him, but you can have him looking directly at you if you want to. Um, it kind of makes him look a lot more innocent because, like, you know, his gun's kind of facing down. Bastion's always with a... I forget the bird's name. It's something crazy and stupid. I forget, I, I don't know. If you know the bird's name in Overwatch, comment down, the Bastion's bird. If you know its name, comment down below. 
Um, but I forgot it. It's something crazy and stupid. <laughs> That's all I know. Um, he's got his big machine gun in the back that ev that everyone likes to camp and kill you with. Um, so yeah, that has some pretty good details on it. Everything just has good detail overall. Um, a lot of the Overwatch ones, um, kind of the human ones do, obviously. Like, kind of ones like Moria, like in this series at least, Moria, Diva, or Brigida, they all kind of look like, um, uh, well, pop figures, but a lot of the ones I have, like, um, over here on this shelf, just an example, I mean, I have the Nano Diva, that's the only one of my Overwatch ones that looks like a pop figure, otherwise, this one, um, Reinhardt, well, this one and Reinhardt especially, but then also with, um, Orisa and the Wraith Reaper, um, they both kind of, they all just don't really look like pop figures, I mean, mainly it's just their character design and a lot of the ben a lot of the bendy ones too especially don't look like pop figures a lot of them don't but i think i think like the the key main thing to making a pop figure is having a smaller body with a bigger head cuz if you look at reinhardt he's got a massive body and a tiny head but on the pop figure um his head is actually proportionate to his body which is a rather big head for reinhardt or bastion on my poster back here you can see the overwatch poster you can't see all the details on it but you can see the big word that says overwatch um, and Bastion also has quite a small head compared to his body, but on this one, his head's pretty big compared to his body. Um, so yeah, he's got his big Fidamaru's, which he actually cannot stand very evenly on, which is interesting. Like, if he doesn't have his gun, like, on there, he kind of leans down a bit. He has to, like, like, um, you can't really see very well, but he has to have, like, his gun on the ground, or else he can't stand correctly. Um, which is probably why they made his gun facing down directly to his feet. Because, like, they could make his gun going up, but, um, they probably had to build it like that anyway so that he could stand because of the way Bastion's feet are. They're really stupid. Um, so he's got all the details on him. Um, even his legs have the little words that say caution on them. I think that's funny that they even included the fact that they say caution. Um, he's got E54 on all the sides of them. Um... I've always found that interesting because, um, uh, Reinhardt has, like, J-O-A on it. At first I thought it was Job, and then I thought that didn't make any sense, so he actually says J-O-A on one of his chest plates. Um, uh, what's his name? Yeah, Torbjorn. He has, like, uh, like, O seven 7 on his, um, uh, his thing that covers the area that, really should not be covered that the 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 place that really should be covered that's what i meant the place that covers the area that really should be covered the the this area <laughs> um it says it says 07 on it um winston has um winston has a60 on him winston has a number that says a60 on him they all just have weird numbers which doesn't correlate anything to the game it might correlate them to the lore I'm not exactly sure. I don't. I don't think. Does, I don't know if Wrecking Ball has a number. I don't think he does. I don't know. I, I don't believe the, the, the box gives off a glow to my face. That's weird. I don't know why it does that. <laughs> um. So yeah, I'm probably gonna end this video at ten minutes. But um, yeah. Bastion. Bastion. Um, this is a really cool pop figure. I really like the way they built it. They put a lot of detail, a lot of effort into this one. Um, it's, it's just a really, it's just a really good pop figure, you know? That, that's, that's the cool. Yeah, yeah, that, that's the cool. That's the cool. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Um, he just looks really good in my opinion. I mean, I believe... Almost. <laughs> I was about to say all of the pop figures, but saying all of them is a stretch. All the ones I own look amazing. Pretty good. Most of them look amazing. Some of them look judgmentally amazing, but most of them look amazing. But, anyway, I do hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you have a good day. Everyone, just have a fun time. And since it's so early in the morning, um, there's been a ghost that likes to fly. On the, across the screen through my videos. It's a ghost, friend. If you're here and you shoot across the screen, so I'll look at do it when I'm looking. Watch. I'll look away and then I'll watch back through this and he'll be, he'll shoot across. Yep. I, I, I bet. 
I bet. I'm not gonna guarantee anything, but I bet when I go back and watch through this, he's probably it's probably gonna shoot across when I don't look. Should have warned me, and you're the one. No, I'm. Yeah, I I found you. You've been here since like 2015. You've been here a while. <laughs> um. So yeah, Bastion pop figure, really cool. Um. If you like Bastion, or if you like Overwatch, or if you just like pop figures, I would recommend this one, just because it's like built so good. Um, you can't really see the back of his head very well, but it is, and even the back of his head is made really good. Um, like, despite how difficult Bastion's um, head joint is to make, they still made it work really well. You cannot tell very good because of the lighting, but they still made his head joint work really well. It actually works very, it actually works very canon to the, well, not canon, it works very accurately to the game, the way his neck joint moves. It moves almost exactly the way it does in the game. Um, that's a very odd thing to pay attention to, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, so yeah, especially his back. On his front, you can't really tell any of the mechanical parts, which is fair. It's how it's supposed to be, but on the back, you can really see all the detail they put into it. And it's just all really good. Funko's been making a lot more better pop figures lately. Um, they've just been making a lot of cool ones, a lot of really good ones, too. Um, they're coming out with a new Venomized line, which looks a lot better than the first Venomized line. Um, there's a Venomized Thanos. Imagine how powerful a Venomized Thanos would be. He snaps and half the symbiotes go away. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's all I have to say for this video, guys. Um, I, um, if you're still watching at this point, comment pancakes, and don't leave yet. The video isn't done. Don't leave yet. Um, if you don't care about the series of Brawlhalla, comment down below, because then I'll just stop doing videos on it, because, um, something I noticed is I recorded a video today that I'm going to upload tomorrow, and then I, um, I, I um, I, I looked at the last video, and it had zero views, zero comments, nothing. So, like, it said zero views. Even YouTube themselves didn't even watch my video. YouTube themselves didn't watch my video to make sure it was, like, right or anything. They just, they, even, even they, they skipped over it. So, um, if anyone, I know, I've realized that, um, you get, like, five minutes into the video and it gets really laggy. Um, so maybe the recording Brawlhalla isn't such a good idea. But to me, it's really fun to record. Um, it gets really laggy, like, five minutes in is what I've realized. And if you skip to about, like... Like, if you skip to about, like, 15 or 20 minutes into the video, if the video is a bit longer than 20 minutes, um, by the end, like, the screen will go black, like, or, like, the video will end, and it'll just be the screen, because the, um, a lot of times, for some reason, when I record certain games, the, my webcam likes to get separated from the game a lot. My webcam will record in real time, while my screen recorder recording the actual game likes to get delayed and they slowly get separated from each other and it's funny the way that happens but i i can't i've tried to fix it many many times before i tried to fix it with ben bendy fixed it but also bendy the way um after bendy updated with the um chapter four massive update with all the other chapters after chapter four then the massive update came and then my recorder want to record bendy um but then, same goes with um, Cuphead, and now Brawlhalla, I've tried to fix it. Um, Bendy fixed itself, because it updated. But, um, games like um, Cuphead and Brawlhalla, um, there's just the lagginess that happens when, like, the webcam and when the recorder separate from itself. Um, I don't, I don't know what I should do about it, because... I really want to keep recording it, but it's getting laggy, it gets really laggy, and last video, z absolutely zero people watched it, and I got absolutely no feedback on it, and I haven't get get been getting much feedback on it. Um, the main reason why I wanted to play it was because a good friend of mine, Marinette54, told me to play it, and, you know, I, I don't get gamer requests ever, so... Like, and he's a good friend, and he's going to be collabing with me on a Bendy song. If you're still watching until then, you get to know I'm writing a, I'm writing a new Bendy song. It's not about Bendy and the Dark Revival. It's not about that yet, because I'm not allowed to give any spoilers of it. <laughs> I'm working with it. <laughs> I'm not allowed to say what I'm working exactly with, but I am partially working with Bendy and the Dark Revival. Not in a huge manner, but I am working... Um, with Bendy and the Dark Revival, I'm not allowed to talk about it very much. I'm not allowed to write a song about it because I know things that nobody else does about the game, and it's really irritating trying to keep that in about it. 
um, the song is not about Bendy and the Dark Rev Revival before it comes out. It's just another song about Bendy because um, Beware the Ink Demon was a song I did completely on my own. It was the first song I ever made, and um, um, a lot of people liked it, and a lot of people didn't. I got very positive and very negative feedback on it. And one, I wanted to write a song that had a completely different feel to it. First song I had had a very dramatic feel. It had a very mellow tone and a very kind of deep, dark thing. And not to say that this one is very poppy. It's still going to be slow. It's still going to be. It's still going to have like a rock feel to it. It's. It's still going to be. And but it's going to be a lot heavier than the song I did before. The song I did was, the um, Be Where the Ink Demon is very, um, classical. It's very orchestra y which makes sense because every every instrument playing that song, is an orchestra. Um, instrument. If you didn't know, um, I played almost all the instruments in that song live. Well, not live. I edited it. I edited some of it, but almost all the music in that song I rip. I wrote by myself. I wrote the cello part, which is played. The dun, 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 dun. I wrote that myself and then played it myself. Same with the piano part, and then I had some helps with a violin. Well, I had some helps with the violin, and I had a viola play some parts. Um, but they don't have YouTube channels, so I'm not really going to give them shoutouts, and I don't know if they're comfortable with me giving them shoutouts anyway, so they help me. You don't know who they are, but they help me, so hi if you're watching this. <laughs> um, so yeah, the new Bendy song is going to be coming out soon. If you're still watching until that, until here, comment Bendy now. Com comment Bendy if you're still watching. I, uh, I'll, 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 I'll heart your comment, because I know you care about my videos. Um... So yeah, new Bendy song coming out soon. I don't know exactly when. Um, I, I wrote the instrumental this time too. I wrote out all the music. But um, I'm not going to be doing it. I'm going to have Y Venom do it because he's a lot better. at. Um, uh, I wrote out the music, but I'm not going to be playing it. Or, or I know, y, y Venom doesn't, I don't think he plays very many instruments. He does it all kind of digitally, which personally sounds a lot better than my instrumental did, so... I kind of wrote the music out, and I said if he thinks things are bad or if he thinks things can improve, he can make his own twists on it. So I have no idea how the end result of the instrumental is going to be, but hopefully it's somewhere along the lines of what I want. And then um, uh, I'm going to be singing the part of Bendy and Beast Bendy. Um, it's mainly a Chapter 5 song. I'm going to be singing the parts of Bendy and Beast Bendy. Um, uh, Marinette 54 is going to be singing the part of um, Tom. And we, d I, I, I'm, I'm not guaranteed to have a voice for Allison yet, but hopefully we get one. Um, but yeah, this video is getting way too long. I wanted to do this video for 10 minutes, and it's already like 18. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Hope you have a good day. Bastion Pop Figure, that's what this video was supposed to be about. Go buy it. Hashtag not sponsored. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed. Hope you have a good day. Sorry for the bad lighting again. Klein Den, out. If you're still watching, comment, comment, cookie. Comment Cookie if you watch until the very end. If you comment Pancakes, I'll like your comment. Comment at Bendy, I'll, I'll heart your comment. And if you comment Cookie, I'll subscribe. Climb in now.